Hi, I'm JJ. Today I will be showing you how to perform a two-point calibration using a Passport pH sensor and Data Studio software. Uh, the same procedure that we will follow to perform this calibration can be done on any data collection system as well as with any sensor that requires a two-point calibration. Um, right here I have the pH sensor which is connected to a USB link which is connected to my computer. Um, I have two pH buffer solutions that we will use to perform this calibration. The first, the blue one, is a pH 10 buffer solution. The red one is a pH 4 buffer solution. I have here a rinse bottle and catch basin to rinse the probe in between placing it in either buffer solution. So let's go ahead and get started in Data Studio. In Data Studio, click the Setup button at the top of the screen to bring up the Experiment Setup window. In that window, click the Calibrate Sensors button. This will bring up the Calibrate Sensor screen. In the top left corner of this screen, you'll notice a box titled Sensor Measurement Unit. It indicates the sensor that's connected and the unit for which we are calibrating. In the bottom left corner of this window, you will notice a box titled Calibration Type. Make sure the bullet next to Two Point Adjusted Slope and Offset has been selected. It should be by default. On the right hand side of the screen, you'll notice two boxes, one titled Calibration Point 1 and the other titled Calibration Point 2. Each one of these boxes contains a second box titled standard value. These standard values should match our pH buffer solutions. In this case, by default, Data Studio chooses pH 4 and pH 7, but we aren't using a pH 7 buffer solution, so we need to change from 7 to 10. Now, take the probe, remove it from the plastic storage bottle, rinse the probe, and place it in your first pH buffer solution. In this case, it's our blue pH 10 buffer solution. In the Calibrate Sensors window, click the button titled Read from Sensor in the box corresponding to that pH buffer solution. You'll notice that the value in the sensor value box has changed. This indicates that the current measurement of 9.7 is now associated with a pH of 10. We'll then remove the probe from that solution, rinse, and place it in our second pH buffer solution. In the Calibrate Sensors window, click the Read from Sensor button in the box corresponding to that pH value. Again, you'll notice that the sensor value has changed. After having done this, click OK, and the calibration information has been recorded, and we are now ready to take measurements. Um, it's important to note that sensors like this pH sensor have a finite shelf life and often require calibration. It's recommended that you calibrate this sensor before every experiment. It's also important to note that the calibration information that we have just recorded is not stored on the sensor itself, but in fact in the file that you'll save after having recorded data. And it's just that easy.